Hey, you guys, it's Amory. This is part two. Hopefully, it is frozen um, the last two times. It's 5.01, and I'm trying to get, finish this message. And you know I don't like doing two parts to messages because 10 minutes is hard enough for people to pay attention to on this app. Um, and here I am trying to record this again for the third time, or second time, the part two. So I really encourage you to go watch part one. I'm not going to go through the whole message, but I, what I was starting to talk, talk to, we were talking about the poetic justice, and I was talking about healing the trauma wound when it came to injustices in your life. The importance of being able to heal that wound so th when the justice comes in, you're healed from it, and you're able, to, you're able to step into a whole new path, a whole new thing, and um, accelerate, and I talked about that, in different areas in your life. It's important to heal those wounds before the justice come in. Oftentimes, we feel as though we'll be able to close a chapter in our life when, when we get justice. And with the message the Spirit's been giving me for a long time, and take what resonates and leave the rest, that when we show Spirit that we're going to heal from that injustice, when we're able to heal, and whatever that is for you, to heal those wounds is when the justices will come in. And so I started to talk about with this uh, amazing card with the cat and the kids holding the two eggs and, then, of course, two more kids breastfeeding with this divine divine feminine here. Um, the fire around them with the animals at the side. There's eggs everywhere. So there's something that you're going to be birthing. There's a new way, a new living uh, that you're going to be birthing. And so and it's going to come through being able to heal these injustice wounds in you. And what Spirit is also saying, and what I was, getting, what I was starting to talk about at um, the end of the last video and it cut off, was that... There's certain parts of our life where we have to look at the healing and treatment modalities that we use for ourselves. It's not a cookie cutter thing. And I gave the example that, you know, when I was in treatment, um, it was a long-term facility for, it was a trauma informed for women and children. There's only one and the, the phone is lagging. Damn it. I don't want it to freeze. Hold on. Please say it's going to go because I don't want to repeat this again. I really don't. And I'm trying not to watch my lips. Oh, it is doing it. Well, you know what? Just figure it out. <laughs> I really want to get this message out. And I think it's so weird that it's freezing all of a sudden. Oh, my God. So, anyway, that you're going to be birthing some of these eggs and stuff like that. And so, when I was in treatment, that was a good foundation for me to work on because I did EMDR therapy, which is amazing for trauma, CBT, trauma-informed yoga. I mean, it was an amazing, amazing program. It was a great foundation for me, but it did not address my spiritual side. It did not address all the things I was experiencing. Even as a social worker, the people I worked for years, the ages I worked for years, I mean, everyone was trying to give me meds or tell me I was crazy or that I was on drugs and I'm just a spiritual being, right? And so, and I won't go into detail about that, but they had me on 17 medications to get me off pain pills. I was a zombie and all those medications, I was a side note, all those medications have a chemical, the same chemical in it, it changes names based on the other ingredients that are in the pill, right? But it calcified, it calcifies our penile gland. That's why I try to hop people up on a lot of medications because it calcifies your penile gland. But anyway, I'm not a doctor, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. So I was talking about that, that that foundation was great for me, but I stayed in that box of A, A, N, A, and C, A. C, A was my J, and that was my main, my main go-to. And it was a great foundation for a couple years for me when I first got clean. It was amazing. I understand it and all that, but it wasn't helping me in the situations I was experiencing. And... I mean, nothing really did, to be honest with you. So I had to find a different ways, different ways of healing modalities or different things to address stuff. And now, so when I work on my shadow side, there's, um, um, and I apologize, my Miss Araverse, um, she's amazing, the mother of shadows. Um, um, I, one day I'll be able to afford her. Um, but I go to look at different modalities to heal certain wounds or to do different types of healing. Sound healing is great for certain things. Reiki is great. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a Reiki level two, and I go and get Reiki um, when I'm able to do it um, to kind of just realign, have somebody else. I'm very particular about who's in my energy, though. So I only let one person do physical Reiki on me, you know, face-to-face -face or whatever. Um, and he's amazing. But, um, and so... Those are good to open stuff up and realign. Um, and I'm always a big advocate for nature. And for me, that's my healing modality now. That's why I study it. That's what I'm versed in. That's what I've been doing for quite a few years. And that's why I've gotten my most peace. So for now, it, Mother Nature is a treatment healing modality for me. And like I said, there's many, whether it's CBT therapy, which is cognitive behavior therapy, which is talk therapy, EMDR, which is our 
it's it, it's a big word that I can't pronounce, um, but it retrains your brain. EMDR is really good if you have some deep, 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 deep trauma, and you want to go a, a, a more non-holistic route if you want to go the medical field, which is fine. EMDR therapy, I recommend it for anybody for a good baseline for some deep, deep, deep trauma to help you start to rethink, to change the way your brain thinks about the trauma is very good. And so what this card is saying, back to the point, what this card is saying is that maybe it's time to help you heal through these injustice wounds to look at other treatment modalities to help you heal. There's YouTubes you can listen to to help align your chakras, sound bowls, singing bowls, um, taking walks in nature, different types of therapy, painting. I mean, it's you have to find what resonates for you. But what spirits keep having me go back to the importance of reevaluating, not to say you have to get rid of the way you're healing or the way you're dealing with stuff, but sometimes, oftentimes, most times, all the time, it wears out. Like there's only so far we can go with so many things. If you're going to a Reiki person every week and you're still having problems, something needs to change. And I'm not digging any Reiki people because I'm a Reiki person. But if someone, just like if someone would come to me for a reading every other month, every other month, I would ask them, even though it doesn't matter if they're giving me money or not, because it's about them. It's for the greatest good for all, right? That's why we're doing this for the greatest good for all. Because the money will come. But anyway, um, then I even asked them, like, you know, should should you be, like, seeking answers elsewhere? Like, we just did a reading a couple months ago, and, you know, I don't want to, I want to make sure that we're getting what you're desiring out of the messages, right? Same if I was providing, if someone wanted Reiki every single week for, like, six months, and even though the money would be good, I actually, I would stop before six months, but ask them, like, maybe there's something else that we need to do, or maybe you need to seek a different type of treatment. It doesn't have to be the holistic stuff. It could be whatever it means for you, right? And so what Spirit is saying that this will help you heal this injustice wound. That's what this message is all about. It's poetic justice. There's going to be poetic justice coming in your life once you're able to heal some of the deeper rooted injustice wounds. Not being heard, not being listened to, not being believed. The unworthiness, the un... That and some of it's tied to unlovability. And so what Spirit is saying is like, this will come. Let's heal some of that. So when the justice does come, you're not coming from an unhealed place. You're like, ah, bitch, I told you so. Which I know a lot of us will probably say at least one time. I know I do. At least once. I want to say, ha ha, motherfuckers, I told you I was a lion. Told you. Told you they were who I said they were. And they did what I said they did. Here's the receipts, but you don't need them because divine justice is here. Um, and maybe I need to work through that, but I, I probably will still say, it. <laughs> um, but seriously to be in a, a healed place. So when the divine justice comes in, you're able to manage it. You've already healed from it. So that way you can rise and shine. So that way all these eggs that the kids are holding on to, the babies are holding on to, they're kind of keeping the eggs warm for you. They're keeping this rebirth warm for you. It's, it's, a, it's like, I won't say it's on ice. It's right by the black cat, which is a lucky cat, by the way, black cats, the best color of cat to have because they're seers. I mean, all cats are seers, but they're like, they're actually the black cat is the closest um, relation to the Egyptian cats. So they're the closest DNA relation to uh, the Egyptian cats. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, do we need to, uh, well, oh, we're at almost 8.30, so we've already done two parts. So anyway, I hope this message resonates. My personal readings are back open. So if you want a personal reading, you can email me at sageinofthesoul at gmail.com. If you want to donate to me, which would be graciously appreciated, you can cash at me at saging of the soul as well. I hope you're healthy and happy and full of joy, you guys. I truly do. Heal. Don't harm. Have a great day.